Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. In this video, we are making 10 easy projects with leftover wrapping paper. Having said that, all these projects can be done with just regular paper, so it doesn't have to be wrapping paper, but I wanted to specifically focus on little bits of paper that you have left or that you've kept, especially now after the festive season. Going forward, be mindful not to now start hoarding all the little pieces of wrapping paper. Make some projects, throw the rest away, don't become a hoarder. Okay, let's jump straight in. Idea number one is pockets. These are really, really cool to store inside your journal or your daily planner. And they open up, of course, their pockets and you can have all sorts of stuff in there. Stickers, photographs, ephemera that you're planning to use in your journaling. And you obviously, by the looks of it, do need a laminating machine to make this. If you don't have a laminating machine, that's fine because there's other projects you can do without the laminating machine. But the way that you would make this, you have your wrapping paper, right? You grab two pieces of wrapping paper and put them together. Don't glue them together, just put them together. And then pop it inside a plastic sleeve that's going to go through your laminator. So I have prepared one here to show you. And once it's through the laminator, you know it's sealed on all the sides. But then you simply just cut one side open and you have an opening. And this is why you're not gluing the two pieces of wrapping paper together. So the wrapping paper is now stuck permanently onto this laminating sheet and we've simply cut off the top. So in the case of this one, I'm going to show you how. I mean, you can probably work out how, but I'm just going to show you just to, you know, so you can see visually. So here we go. I'm going to trim open one side. So I've trimmed open, obviously, the laminating sheet, as well as a little bit of the wrapping paper. And there we have it, a little pocket. And now I can go ahead, trim this off. I, I might actually leave this long, or maybe I can leave this side long, and then I can have little eyelets here. You can make a little booklet. Look at this, how cute is this? I put little eyelets here on the side. I wish I had this idea prior to filming the video. I would have made a little booklet just so you can sort of see how much fun that would be. Well, it's a lot of fun in my mind, like a mini little album, right? With all sorts of fun stuff inside the pockets, held with a ring, uh, one of those rings, you know, two of the rings. Hmm, I love that idea. But anyway, you see how easy that is? You just cut that off and you have a little pocket. And it's just, I love how this looks and feels. Idea number two is similar but different. So instead of calling these pockets, I'm calling them pouches. And I did a few different things here. You can see these ones are embossed. Just ran it through my embossing machine. You might not have a, an embossing machine, but you have little bits and pieces, you know book page and little different pieces of ephemera that you can stick down onto the pouch and make it really really beautiful and look at that oh and this one here this one is a shallow pouch and this is my little embellishment here just you know little bits and pieces stuck down and there we have it really cute so this is the wrapping paper that i used you know oftentimes when you're wrapping presents you have these little pieces and then we keep them because we think oh this is good for a little present and then they get all scrunched up and you never use it so this is a really cool little project and i'll quickly show you how to make one so that's the approximate width you don't have to have any measurement in mind you just kind of it really doesn't matter what size you make them you just fold it and let's cut it off over here somewhere approximately. I mean, this is how I do it. You can grab your piece of wrapping paper and just fold it like this so that they meet in half. You know, usually the, these types of bags kind of have that meeting point right there in the middle, but I'm not really stressed about that. So just gonna fold that down. I can even do something like this have my little thing all the way there which I will do because this has a straight edge and this is all wonky all right next thing I'm going to do is grab this double-sided tape and I'm gonna apply it actually I'm gonna do it here one on this crooked flap over here and then one on this top flap over here remove the backings and I will tell you in a moment why I'm applying it both here and here okay and now I'm just going to close this 
All right, perfect. And the reason why I applied it on this one here is so this is taped closed here. And the reason I applied it onto a smaller flap is so that there's no openings here that's sealed down, if that makes sense. I hope so. And now I'm just going to cut this to make it a nice and straight edge. There we have it. And now for the bottom, you know, we seal the bottom. You can go ahead and sew it shut. You can glue it shut. This is what I do. I fold this up at the bottom, just a little piece down here. So maybe a centimeter, a bit more than a centimeter or about half an inch. You see that? And then I like to neaten that up. So it looks really nice, nice and neat. We want a neat back. And then what I do is I'm going to get rid of this excess. It's not really necessary, but just to make everything nice and, and I don't know what, just nice. That's what I'm going to do. So now I need to apply some glue here. And since I've already got my double-sided tape out, just apply it there and close shut. And there we have a little pouch or a pocket. I'm calling it a pouch because I'm just differentiating from the first uh, pockets that we did and of course because this is really plain wrapping paper it looks better if I make it beautiful with doing you know things like this little clusters or embossing or you can do some stickers or you can just leave it as it is but if you're using really busy fun wrapping paper something like this or like this you know and you make your little pouches it really doesn't need any embellishing it's already beautiful and embellished so that's a really easy quick little project to do and i personally like to have these clipped into journals so let's just say for example in my journal let's go to any page all right this is a good page and then i would have the little pieces of ephemera in here maybe some pieces of lace maybe I could pop in here all of these bits that I used at front so that I I don't know just just an idea so that I kind of know what's in here it's like a floating pocket which means you can clip it onto a page any page like that and you can move it around you know if you want it you do your journaling here and you fill all of this stuff up and you know you you're moving through your journal you can go ahead and move your floating pocket with it you can I don't know you can stick it down onto a page and then it can be a tuck spot behind it can be a, a pocket which it is anyway I mean you can do so many different fun little things with these little pockets pouches pouches they are idea number three oh I love this one is a journal cover so basically I made a cover for a travels notebook or travel no notebook inserts I've got three little books in here and I made the cover again laminating machine and I used two different types of wrapping paper this blue one and then I cut little hearts out of this one really quite beautiful and I simply ran it through my laminator and made a little journal cover and there's something about laminated covers that I really enjoy for example, my planner from last year has this, lam okay, this laminated cover is most definitely a lot sturdier than my one. This is just really thin laminating pouch as opposed to this, but I really enjoyed this feel. I love this. And if you're into planning and, and making planners and, and junk journals and all, all that sort of stuff, chances are you will enjoy this too. So... I'm not going to do a tutorial on making this, but you can play around. I mean, I can do a tutorial, just not today. If you want an actual tutorial on how to make this particular exact same thing. And by the way, we don't have to use wrapping paper. We can use any paper for any of these projects to, that I show you today. So here's another thing that I did. This one's done differently. Here you can see I used a whole piece of wrapping paper, depending on uh, the sizes of the pieces that you have. And here I used two smaller pieces. So this can also be a journal cover. I can bind a signature in here or I can have these little eyelets and do something fun with that. That was the initial plan for this particular piece. I wanted to make a little journal cover. Another thing that you can do with this as well as making a journal cover is something like this can be folded in half and it can be a page in your journal 
It can be like a dashboard at the front and at the back of the journal and you can have sticky notes here, washi tapes that you'll use throughout your planning or journaling sessions, you know, because you can easily peel this off of a surface. That, so that's really cool to use it as a page in a journal. Or otherwise, if you trim, so you make this exact same way as this, exactly the same way. The only thing is you're using one pouch, but you're putting two of these inside the pouch. So another thing that you can do is trim this off of the top and make two pockets. And then you have a page with a pocket inside the journal. You can place the page anywhere inside the journal and you have two pockets. It can be a dashboard pocket. Let's say that's your first page in the journal. You can have your little stickers, your planning. You know, it's start of the new year, so I'm all into like planning and stickers, okay? Oh, who am I kidding? I'm always into that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool to have at the beginning of a journal. My personal planner for this year, unfortunately, um, it doesn't have that laminated cover, which is, you know, oh well. But at the back here, it has this beautiful pocket and, you know, there's all this sort of stuff that I use when I'm planning and kids' activities and appointments and all that sort of stuff. And there's a, there's a page of stuff here and, you know, all that stuff. So if you're making a journal or a junk journal, and here I have that acetate page here just for fun, uh, but you can have your first page as a laminated page. Perhaps this, the hearts thing, maybe doesn't go with this kind of a, I don't know, vintage -y kind of a feel. But you see what I mean. You can have all of your goodies in there. Washi tapes stuck on and things like this, you know, sticky notes and things that you will use in planning and journaling, etc. So that's kind of two ideas in one. And you know what? I just love my laminator. But if you don't have my my laminate, if you don't have a laminator, there's other things that you can make, such as idea number four, which is DIY washi tape. Now, I realize this doesn't look a whole lot of fun, but bear with me because I'm going to show you examples on how I use these in projects. Basically, we are making washi tape. See? Washi tape. You have these little pieces and you have washi tape ready to go right but this washi tape is kind of permanent washi tape so maybe we should call it decorative tape because washi tape is meant to be peeled you know you can easily peel it off whereas this once it's down it's down so you can use it instead of sticky tape when uh, wrapping presents as well for example i kept some little pieces that i have left over from a project like this and they're just ready to go little pieces that i can use as little accents on a page for example this is just here for inspiration because I realized that seeing the example like this, it doesn't really kind of make it look like something you want to try. But if you have a look at this tag, it's an oversized tag that's meant to be journaled on, that's going to live in a journal. And I, ha I did a little bit of collaging and all sorts of things. I did stamping, I stuck things down, more stamping here, stickers, stickers, all sorts of stuff, sewing around. And then, of course, here are the little washi tape examples. So I made this just to show you when you have something like this on hand, it's really beautiful to accentuate your pages and use, look at this, how cool is this one? With the gold, you might have some Christmas paper left over that has all sorts of fun gold stuff. Perfect. On this one here, basically what I did is I used one of my strips that I cut in a wiggly line like this with scissors. Just cut it in half, but rather than doing it in a straight line, I did it in a wiggly line. And then I glued it around here to use as a border around this photograph. So this photograph can be removed. But anyway, this is just, I did this just sort of to show you an example. And then over here, this can be, you know, a page in a journal. And then here at the back, again, I did all sorts of, you know, fun stuff, collaging. I stamped this word create. I have a little sticker here. I have some book pages, just some pieces of ephemera, a pocket here with more pieces of fun stuff. And then I accentuated everything with just some little strips of that gold paper washi tape. You can see these elements used throughout. I used the blue one. I wanted to use this red one, but I just didn't get around to it. You know, this, I don't know, it can be really cool to kind of hold down a photograph or something like that in a journal if you just use a little snippet. Really depends on your wrapping paper, but most wrapping paper is pretty fun, I suppose. So how do you make it? You need your offcut of wrapping paper 
and double-sided tape. They come in all sorts of widths. You know, I have a really thick one like this, but I'm kind of hoarding it because sometimes I hoard stuff. Oh, and I'm finished with this one. All right, so here's another one. I hope I... Oh, look at that. You know what? My kids come in here and they take my stuff and use it up, especially double-sided tape. They love it for some reason. So here we go. You have your off-cut piece of wrapping paper. You have your double-sided tape. And then you simply... Maybe I'll do it this way. Sometimes I do it this way so that nothing is sort of gluing where it's not supposed to. And then you simply glue it to the back of your wrapping paper, just like that. And you can do, you know, strips, as many as you can fit. And then you trim. All right, and there you have your piece of decorative tape or washi tape. I've got glitter all over my hands, but you know, you can kind of roll it up if you can't fit it into a box. And then when you're ready, you chop off little pieces or you cut it in half lengthwise like this so you can have thin tape. And then when you're ready to use it, you simply remove the backing and look at this strong tape underneath. Perfect. Just a little word of caution here. Don't keep every single little offcut. I know it's tempting. Why did I why did I even use this? You know, you can see that it's kind of cut. So maybe just keep really nice, like these two, for example. As you've noticed so far in my projects, I'm gravitating towards the gold. Perhaps I would keep something like this. Perhaps I wouldn't keep this. Idea number five is collage art, paper piecing or franken paper, or whatever you want to call it. We are simply collaging or gluing little pieces of wrapping paper. Perhaps the interesting pieces. See how I picked out just the interesting parts. Glued it down onto some computer paper. There's no sewing on this side because once I glued it down onto the copy paper, I did the sewing on the copy paper and then I glued the copy paper down onto cardstock so that the sewing is not coming through. And I did all different types of stitches, some straight stitches and some ziggle, ziggly, wiggly, zigzag and some fun stuff like this. And then this can be a journal cover, you know, I was contemplating that. Something like this, the only problem is I like this side better. I like the back better than the front, so I don't think I'll use it as a journal cover, but this is an alternative option to the laminator one. It looks cool, only this side is better. Otherwise, I can cut it up and use it as tags, like I could perhaps do something like this, you know, just, just cut into it, hack into it, like you would with a master board. You could also do something like this in your art journal. It can be like an ongoing project, for example, it doesn't have to be done in one sitting. You can just glue pieces of uh, wrapping paper, you know, choose a page. Maybe dedicate a page. Or maybe it can be like from presents received. You can keep a little snippet. What a great idea. I think I'm, I might do that actually. Every time you receive a present, whether it's for your birthday or anniversary or whatever, you can keep a little snippet of the wrapping paper and then you can collage it something like this onto a page in your art journal and write the date and occasion. For example, here, let's say Christmas 2022, you know, you might even write what the present was or who it was from. And then you have this beautiful page of memories. It's just an idea that came to me right now. So it's probably something that you could develop a little bit more. But there it is, like most of the stuff that we do here on this channel is all about memory keeping, right? Journaling, memory keeping, and why do we why do we do the tags? We're just doing journaling, just normal everyday journaling, but in a beautiful visual kind of a way. We have all of these little things to prompt us in our writing process, or it's simply a creative expression. You don't even have to write in your journal, right? You can just glue stuff down, call it a glue book. All right, moving along. Project number six is mats or matting. I'm not really sure what to call this, so I'm just calling it. There's a few different ideas in this project. So let's start off with this one. All I did is grab some cardstock. You can use cereal boxes, anything you have. And I covered it in the wrapping paper, offcuts, right? So there's that, you know, gold one that I love. And then you can have individual pieces like this, or you can have like three pieces like this, stack them up, glue them together, and you have this beautiful frame effect. 
and this can be perhaps glued on top of a box or on top of uh, a journal or something like that right so let's just say just to demonstrate this journal cover was made out of a cereal box many years ago now actually and let's just say you know I might want to do something like this on my journal cover it doesn't go like at all the blue and the it just doesn't look good but just as an example you can do something like that it's the simple things that can take you in fun and creative ways because you wrap a piece of cardstock with wrapping paper big deal like you know it's no big deal see just wrapped up some cardstock right but then you can create stuff like this this is a book plate and this is going to look really good on a journal and that's all it is just beautiful wrapping paper wrapped around some cardstock and then I put this, you can see ribbon around. This is a stamp. People always ask me, where'd you get it? I, I have no idea where I got it. It was many years ago, but it doesn't, you can handwrite journal. And this, these are little blink pieces that I took off of some old leggings, uh, you know, back in the day, L lots of leggings had all these little embellishments. Anyway, I peeled them all off and here they are, just little corner pieces there on a book plate. How simple, right? First of all, matting is kind of like uh, whatever you put on top of the mat, which is this piece, makes that piece, let's say a photograph, it makes it pop, it makes it more visible. So, you know, you can make a fridge magnet. Here's another idea. You glue a fridge here on the back, and you have a photograph there or a little something like, I don't know, something like this, for example, and a fridge magnet or again, a journal cover embellishment. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I do this. And we can, while we add it, make something, make this into something really beautiful. There's my little piece, measurements, it really doesn't matter. That's what we have there. So now I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue. I'm not going to use wet glue here because I don't want warping of the page. I'm going to use just a cheap glue stick and this one's really dried out. So I'm just applying it there just to kind of keep it in place and it hasn't some glue sticks can also warp paper we're not striving for perfection here but we kind of are so lovely okay and now i'm just going to do this just to kind of it didn't that really didn't do anything but it kind of did like you can see where the folds are so the next thing i'm going to do is cut off the corners and i'm going to leave a little margin over here you see that so just cut off the corners and now choose your first two sides to work with so let's say i'm going to choose these opposing sides i'm going to do this again get your double-sided tape or use a glue it really doesn't matter because this is the back so uh, we don't really care about the back you know it doesn't have to be perfect even though this one's looking perfect look at that just glue it down any way you know how but let's you, we're starting off with the two opposing sides and you can either apply your double-sided tape or glue onto the wrapping paper or uh, actually straight onto your cardstock or you just need to have it on all four sides and we're only working on the two opposing sides so remove or peel the backing off and then when you're folding this down you want it tight okay so make this really tight like pick it up and pull it tight does that make sense and now see these corners you want to bring that in that's the little margin that we're left like that you can use whatever tool you have you can use your nail or you can use a bone folder like this bring it down just like that and just test like when you when you fold it over does that corner look neat it does look really neat but i like it to be a little bit more in so i kind of like just bring it a bit more in you see and now peel this backing off make sure everything is in place and there we have it like is it perfect at the back no it's not we don't need it perfect we need it perfect here at the front and now repeat again here and there we go the little mat is ready to go now we can go ahead and make it fun I can pop something like that on there. I don't really think I like that kind of look, but you know, just to give you some ideas. So this is how I'm kind of testing things out. Perhaps does this go? Something like this. Maybe some corners. Like, does that look good? No, not, I don't really like that. So I think out of all the things, I really like something like this. Yes, I quite like this. 
and here's what I've done. Uh, I feel like it's missing something here, so I can always come back to that and add something a little bit later on. Just added a, a ribbon, dark brown ribbon. This could be my little journal cover embellishment. Does anyone else think this little girl looks like Greta Thunberg? Really does, doesn't it? So there we go. You can mat away and create all the little fun things. Journal cover embellishments, matting for photographs, fridge magnets, book plates, and the list goes on. The list does go on. And the next item or item number seven that I have on the list is a keychain or like a dangle or book jewelry or fun stuff. Fun stuff like this. So basically what I have here is just little pieces of wrapping paper you guessed it you see just like that and the little heart cut out laminated of course because i'm in love with my laminating machine i used some words here that i could find it can be like um, reminder for your words of the year or things you want to focus on in 2023 i'm only thinking this way because it's start of the year and everything's kind of brand new and you know so I laminated the pieces, I put them together on a jump ring, I found this in my stash, just any, it was the first thing that I found, honestly, does it go, probably not, but gives you an idea, and then everything is on a keychain like this, so it can be even an embellishment for your bag, your purse, a little gift for somebody, a really fun little project using wrapping paper of cuts, and some inspiring words. Ooh! I could have I could have cut this open so I could have had a little pocket on my keychain like the very first project and there we have it next item on the list item number eight is frames and it's done in really pretty much exactly the same way as the mats that we did just before I'm just trying to think of a little example to show you this journal already has a front piece but you could have something like this for example with a little pho photograph inside you can add a little magnet here and it can be a fridge magnet i don't know why i'm stuck on a fridge magnet but i think I'm, it's a good idea so they really do look quite fun and they're very very easy to make so i'm going to show you how i did this again this one i basically just cut out of cardstock just grabbed a piece of cardstock that big and just cut the lines I drew myself kind of you know where I need to cut and then I just wrapped it around so I'm going to show you the wrapping around process and I'm going to use a ready-made frame we're starting off the same way as we did it for the previous project the matting we're using a little bit of glue stick here just to hold it in place while we're wrapping and we're gonna pop this down smooth it down perfect so the outside is done in exactly the same way as we did for the matting project. You're cutting off the corners and you're leaving a margin here. So everything is done exactly the same way so far, but we need to remove this inside. But it has to have a perfect finish. Oh, it doesn't have to, but you, I suppose, I imagine you would want it to have a perfect finish. So what I do, let's get nice and close. I'm going to cut from this corner. To this corner all the way and then i'm gonna cut from this corner to this corner all the way all right now these little pieces are going to be flipped up so you just want to trim those points off not all the way but just trim them off there we go and now this is what we're doing we're gluing all these down and then we're gluing the outsides down so I'm going to speed this process up, but we need to put double-sided tape on all four sides. Or glue, doesn't have to be double-sided tape. We'll start on the opposing sides first. Remove the backing and pull that over. Make it really tight. And again here, and repeat the same process on all four sides. There we have it. Looking pretty good pretty neat now we're doing the same thing on these sides apply the double-sided tape peel off two opposing sides and then just wrap around really tightly and then we're doing the little corners here and again just wrap that's the back and then the front look at that 
perfection. And then you can add maybe some little embellishments like this. Perhaps this doesn't go. I just quickly grabbed whatever was closest to me. It, just to give you ideas again. This is all about ideas. Maybe something like this. Little blink pieces here and there. Maybe something like this. Like I know you can make it better than that. But just to demonstrate like a little bling. Perhaps if you have this as the top of the frame. Oh, everything's falling. You can have it on top of the frame. You can add stuff down here so you have that balance have a photograph there front of a journal embellishment that's where my mind is going with this but plenty of other users as well i hope you like this idea a little frame the next idea is tags or gift tags and this is really 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 simple and we're using little pieces of sorry for yelling little pieces of wrapping paper so like pieces like this that really in all honesty should just go into the bin but you want to make something out of them so here's just some examples to get you going okay so this is the first one that i did and this one is laminated that's when my laminating machine was on and i usually like to use up all of the laminating sheet so if my laminating sheet you know whatever i'm laminating has a bit of space here i'm gonna put something in there and here's that little tag laminated tag all right pop that to the side next thing i have is just some tea dyed cardstock and you can see i oh, really love this look it actually looks like there's liquid in this bottle and basically it's just tea dyed cardstock and i glued down some wrapping paper as you can see just ripped up and then i did some sewing around and added some stickers i wasn't even planning to do the stickers but i just went with the idea because it came to me so there's some large tags these are good for inside journals you can journal on them on the back poems quotes happenings of the day etc and then i made a whole lot of these little tags and they are literally gift what are they called the gift tags and again the same thing i just glued ripped up wrapping paper and then these two i put through my embossing machine i realize not everyone has an embossing machine but you know if you're gonna write on them uh, perhaps this isn't the greatest thing to do to the gift tag but anyway the idea is you grab your you have a little stack of these and then you write on them to and from or you can do a sticker you can write at the back you can sew around them you can just really have a little play around especially if you have really really nice wrapping paper that you love and then you have these little off cut off cut pieces like this i love this wrapping paper look at it and it's not even it's not bad quality okay it's not flimsy like all of the other pieces of wrapping paper that i used this is really really flimsy wrapping paper so it but it works well with the lemon uh, the lamination process and the washi tape and stuff like that so collaging and paper piecing and and for this sort of stuff as well uh, ripped up you can hang these on gift bags or uh, tie them onto the presents tie a little bow and write a little knot lovely and the last idea idea number 10 is laminated bookmarks i know it's not that exciting and it's not not exciting either again you know you're just using little leftover pieces and especially when you're laminating other stuff and then you have a strip of empty space this is kind of off topic but i have a little pouch here of all the things that i want to laminate when the laminator is out and in use which isn't all that often maybe once every couple of months and let's just say i want to laminate this piece and now look at all this real estate here that i can use for other stuff and that's where bookmarks come in handy and we're doing the same thing you can also make them into narrow long pockets same thing as the first project i always try to use up every single tiny little thing so for the when i have really narrow little pieces i like to use it all up so here's my bag of laminated stuff see these little strips and these little like tag shapes and i put postage stamp i use every single little piece whatever i can fit on there right look at all this and all this oh, treasures and little tags like this so there we have it look at this how cool is this perfect fit let's quickly recap the 10 ideas so number one we have pockets number two pouches number three journal cover or a pocket page in a journal number four is washi tape 
Number five, you can't see it, but collage art or stitched paper or franken paper. Number six, we have mats or matting. Number seven is a key ring or a dangle. Then number eight, we have frames. Number nine, we have tags and gift tags. And number 10, you can't see it, bookmarks. I hope this video gives you lots of ideas. I had a few more ideas, but I thought 10 is a nice number. Plus I kind of ran out of time. I created a whole lot of stuff. I hope it's enough to get you started and to keep you inspired. Let me know what you think of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.